Hey guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be summarizing the plot of a 2012 American computer animated fantasy film called Brave. Let's be adventurous with Brave. This movie is a fairy tale about a red-headed princess who lives in a castle located in Scotland and was determined to make her own path in life. And this movie also shows her struggles and bravery when her mother incredibly turns into a demon bear. At the beginning of the movie, we see Princess Merida, the first child of the Dunbrock clan. Her mother was Queen Alina, and her father was King Fergus. It was Merida's sixth birthday, and she was playing with her mother. Just then, Merida's father comes to the spot. He gives Merida a bow and arrow as her birthday present. Then the king was teaching his daughter how to shoot the arrow at the right target. During Merida's practice, one of the arrows sails off into the forest nearby. Merida runs off and retrieves it, but soon encounters a glowing blue below the wisp and she finds a magical firefly. As she was chasing after the magical firefly, Queen Eleanor called out to her daughter. Merida returns to her parents and informs them that she saw a magical firefly in the forest. Her mother says that such a magical firefly brings people closer to their destiny. But Fergus, Merida's father, did not believe in such magic and spells at all. He tells them that they should go back to the royal palace now because it was already evening. Just then a huge demon bear comes and attacks them. The bear's name was Mordu. The king and his companions fought the bear, and Queen Eleanor fled with her daughter on horseback. But while fighting the bear, King Fergus lost one of his legs. Then ten years passed. Now Merida also has three brothers. The three brothers are Hamish, Hubert, and Harris. And these three are very mischievous and fickle. Next, we see Merida now grown up. And she doesn't like the rules a princess has to follow. Queen Eleanor teaches the princess how to be a princess. The queen is teaching her the rules. But the girl has absolutely no mind in these things. She teaches her daughter that a princess should not make noise while eating. The princess must get up early in the morning. And princesses never laugh out loud. The princess got bored while following these rules. But there was a rule in the kingdom that on one particular day of the year, Merida did not have to follow the rules of the princess. She could do whatever she wanted. On such a day, Merida went for a ride in the forest on her white and swift horse. After that, she wanders far and wide all day long. She climbs the mountain and drinks the water from the spring. In the afternoon, Princess returned to the fort, and she was very hungry, so she went to the dining room. There sat the princess's parents and her three mischievous brothers. King Fergus was telling his three sons the story of his fight with the bear named Mordu ten years ago. The bear has not been seen since the last three years. King Fergus says that if he finds out this time, he will take revenge. Then the princess put her bow and arrow on the dining table. But Queen Eleanor says that weapons should never be placed on the dinner table. And according to her, the princess should not have any weapons. But King Fergus opposes this. The king said, what happened to the princess? Every man should learn to shoot arrows and weapons just then a maid arrives and delivers three letters to Queen Eleanor. Then the queen informed them that the lords will present their sons as suitors for the princess's betrothal. The princess will be married to whomever Princess Merida chooses among them. The princess was very angry after hearing about the marriage. She tells her mother that she will not marry now. The girl got very angry and left there. Then the queen told her a story. Many years ago, there was an ancient kingdom and ruled by a wise and fair king. He had four sons. When the king grew old, he divided his wealth among his four sons. He advised his four sons to rule the kingdom together. But the oldest prince was greedy over the whole kingdom and wanted to rule the land alone. So, he chose his own way to conquer the kingdom and push the kingdom towards war. Greed, violence, and war led to the collapse of the entire kingdom. At the end of the story, Queen Eleanor tells her daughter that this is not just a story, and there is a glimmer of truth in it. Legends are lessons. They ring with truths. Merida still does not agree to the marriage. The queen angrily leaves the room. Then on her father's request, she agrees to the marriage. Meanwhile, the lords of the three neighboring kingdoms came to the kingdom of King Fergus. Their names are Macintosh, MacGuffin, and Dingwall. While Queen is getting her daughter ready, she tells her daughter that she looks very beautiful and that she should not forget to smile. Then three lords entered that fort. Queen Alina then asks them to introduce their son. Then the three lords introduced their sons one by one and began to tell the story of their heroism. Then the three lords started laughing at each other, and as a result, the fight started between them. King Fergus goes to stop them, but he himself gets into a fight with them. Queen Alina was very angry to see them, and she went and stood between them, and after that, they stopped fighting when they saw her. The queen then tells them all that according to the rules of this kingdom, only the firstborn of each clan can participate in this competition and each of them must prove himself with arms or strength to marry the princess. And the princess herself will watch the competitions. According to the wishes of the princess, an archery competition is organized. Whoever passes this archery competition will be selected. After that, when the game starts, the arrows of the first two sons do not hit the target. Fortunately, the third man's arrow hits the target, and his father starts dancing happily. Just then Merida walks in. She tells everyone that she is the first child of the Dunbrock clan, 
and she will participate herself to win the challenge. Merida's three arrows then hit the target very easily, and she proves herself worthy of everyone else. So, her mother Queen Alinar was very angry. She brings her daughter into the room and tells her that she has insulted the chief of the three clans. Meanwhile, Merida gets very angry. While quarreling with her mother, the princess tears the tapestry containing family photos with a sword. Seeing this, the queen became very angry and threw her daughter's bow and arrow into the fire. Then, Merida starts crying and leaves the palace. She then rode off into the woods on her horse. Then by coincidence he reaches a strange place. Then Merida saw the magical light again. The light led Merida deeper into the forest. She then noticed that the surrounding environment was a little bit ghostly. After getting far into the forest Merida saw a small hut. The princess went inside the small house, and there she saw an old woman. The old woman tells Merida that she makes wooden toys, but in reality, she was a witch. There were many toys inside that room. The old lady says Merida you can take whatever you like, but Merida says she doesn't need toys. As she doesn't need anything the old woman tells Merida to get out of her room. But Merida realizes that the old woman is a witch and sorceress. Since Merida's fate has brought her here, she tells the old woman that maybe you can change my fate. Princess says to the old woman, I want to change my mother and I will buy all the toys in this room if you give me a magical power by which I could change my mother. And in exchange for all these, the princess will give a precious locket to the old woman. The old witch agreed to this, and she tells Merida that she gave this spell to a prince last time. That prince wanted to have the strength of ten men in his body, and in exchange for this, he also gave her a locket. The prince wanted to change his destiny. After that, the old witch makes a cake and gave it to her. And she tells her that she has to feed this cake to her mother. Then her luck will change. But the witch forgot to tell the girl one thing. Then Merida returned to the palace. Merida then fed the cake to her mother. But her mother fell ill after eating that cake. Merida kept asking her mother if she had changed her mind about marriage. Merida then took her mother to her room. She puts her mother to bed, but her mother falls off the bed. But just then, unexpectedly, Queen Eleanor turns into a bear. Seeing her mother in the form of a bear, she got very scared. But later she realizes that her mother is transformed into this for eating this cake. At first, the queen did not realize that she herself had turned into a bear. When she saw her face in the mirror, she was very upset. Although Eleanor could not speak, she still had human feelings in her body. Merida then tells her mother that the cake was collected from the witch. But she didn't want to turn her mother into a bear. She just wanted to change her mother's mind. Queen Eleanor was very angry after hearing this. She shouts very loudly. King Fergus hears screams from outside. Merida tells her mother that they have to hide, because his father considers bears to be their worst enemy. If he sees the queen as a bear, he will kill her, because the king does not believe in magic spells at all. Then the king and others started looking for the bear. Just then one of their maids spotted Merida and her mother bear. She approaches King Fergus with fear and shouting, and told him that she had seen a bear. Then the king became furious to kill the bear. Then Merida met her mother with her three brothers. She tells her three brothers that a witch has turned their mother into a bear and now they have to go outside the castle to meet the witch. Now the princess asks three brothers to help to go out. Finally, the princess comes out of the castle with her mother and went into the forest. After that, they came up to the witch's hut. But there was no witch or no one. But the witch left a message for them. By the second sunrise, your spell will be permanent unless you remember these words. Fate be changed, look inside, mend the bond. Torn by pride. Then everything disappears. They both spent that night in the forest. The next morning, they had nothing to eat, but they were both very hungry. Then the girl caught fish from the river and fed it to her mother. That fish is very liked by her mother bear, and then, the girl teaches her mother to catch fish. Her mother bear was eating raw fish. Then, she started walking towards the forest without saying anything. Then, Merida started walking behind her mother. When she asked her mother, where are you going? Then her mother behaved like a real bear. She was about to attack Merida and immediately felt like a human. Then the princess realizes that her mother is slowly changing into a real bear, and she is slowly losing human feelings. Then they both saw the magical firefly. While following the firefly, the two of them reached an ancient, ruined castle. They realize that there is no human movement here. Suddenly Merida falls down into a room. Merida rapidly realizes that it is a throne room. Merida could understand. Her mother had told her the story of this city. Then she saw four idols made of stone. One of them is split just like the tapestry. Seeing this, she realized that this was the ancient kingdom and that the one who had been separated was the oldest prince. She also realizes that this is the prince the witch told her about and who got the strength of ten men. Just then Merida turns around and sees the monstrous Mordu standing behind her. Merida realizes that this is the oldest prince who has permanently turned into a bear. Merida somehow survives when Mordu attacks her. Then she got on his mother's back and they both ran away from there. Merida then learns the meaning of the witch's message. If they don't attach the tapestry before the second sunrise, her mother will be a bear for the rest of her life. Then they both entered the palace. Merida entered the palace and saw the three lords and her father fighting with each other. Merida then stood between them, and they were all astonished. She then asks everyone to stop fighting and says that our kingdom is not very old. 
But the unity of our state is our identity. When the people of our clan were attacked by outsiders, we all fought them together. So why are we fighting each other now? Merida's words touched everyone's heart. Then she tells them that everyone should have the freedom to choose their own life partner. After that they all became friends. Merida then sent everyone to a room and when everyone went out, Merida brought her mother to her room. Then Merida takes the divided tapestry and tells her mother that we only need a needle and thread. After we sew this tapestry, you will return to human form. Then King Fergus came to the girl's room looking for the queen. Inside the room, he sees a bear. He did not know that this bear was his wife. So, he attacks to kill Alina with his sword. Meanwhile, the queen loses her human feelings for a while and acts like a real bear. Accidentally, she hurts Merida a little. She repeatedly convinces her father that it is her mother. But King Fergus does not believe his daughter's words. He locks Merida in a room and gives the key to a maid. And tells the maid that no matter what you do not open the door of that room. Queen Alina flees into the forest. The king then marched into the forest with his soldiers to kill the bear. Merida on the other hand tries hard to open the door of her room but failed. Just then she saw her three brothers outside her room, who had turned into bears. She was very sad to see them unexpectedly transformed into bears. She realizes that her three brothers have also eaten the cake given by the witch. Merida then asks the three brothers to steal the keys from the maid. Then the three brothers snatch the keys from the maid. Merida leaves the room with the key. She then takes the torn tapestry and needle with thread, and went towards the forest with the three brothers. On the way to the forest, she sewed the cloth. Meanwhile, Alina is surrounded by the king's men in the forest. They caught her and tied her legs. Merida, on the other hand, follows a magical firefly to reach the king's men. The king and the rest of his people thought this bear was the terrible bear Mordu, which caused King Fergus to lose a leg. When King Fergus was about to kill her, Merida arrived there, and she tells everyone that no one will touch my mom. Merida tries to convince everyone that it is her mother, but the king does not believe her words. When he goes to kill the bear again, the girl's three brothers also come there. They had turned into bears by then. The king then believes that his own three children and beloved wife have turned into bears. Just then suddenly Mordu comes there and attacks them, and a terrible situation arises. There the situation worsened. The king's men attack him, but Mordu leaves everyone and goes to kill the girl. He nearly killed Merida. Queen Alinar then unhooks her leg from the rope and attacks Mordu. Queen Alinar risks her life to save her daughter. Thus, the fight continued. Alinar then leads Mordu to a giant rock, and kept pushing Mordu. Then the stone fell on Mordu, and he died. Just then the soul of the prince comes out, and he silently gives thanks to the girl, cause he is freed forever. Meanwhile, the sun was about to rise. Merida then covers her mother with a sheet, but her mother does not turn into a human. Seeing that Merida started crying, her father, King Fergus, the three lords, and the rest of the people were shocked to see this. They couldn't believe it. Merida gets emotional. She hugged her mother, and says that she loves her very much. Just then, Queen Alina returns to human form. King Fergus was overjoyed to see this. Then they understand the true meaning of the message given by the witch. She didn't mean to join the picture of the tapestry. Her words were meant to mend the relationship that had soured between Merida and her mother. Now, as their relationship has been fixed, her mother has returned to human form. Meanwhile, her three brothers also returned to their original form. Then they all happily returned to their fort. Queen Alina then makes a new tapestry containing herself as a bear and her daughter Merida. Then the three lord and their people went back to their kingdoms. Then the movie ends with a sweet ending. If you like the video be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Thanks for enjoying the video.